Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a little impromptu session because Amy's about to fucking die. <laughs> I came out to take out the fucking clay cart that was next door, and Amy's just been buggered completely. It was so difficult to take out. And oh, we can't use the play cure as part of the stipulation, so she's gonna go down fighting. We're gonna lose our goddamn leader. But I'm determined to take down this plague heart. Come on. I've defeated so many zombies. You can see all the fucking bodies. Oh no, you're not dead. There we go. Look at all of the fucking bodies. No, there's so many. No! She's died in the dark. Oh my god. We've got to play squirrel. We've lost so many people. I'm afraid we won't be able to remember them. How dare you? We w <laughs> Oh god. Still working on what we talked about? Oh god. Oh, wait. Oh, I, some I thought something bad was happening then. <laughs> oh god. Right, we've got to go find Amy's body. Oh, Amy. No. Even the dead heads have Amy is dead. There's Hal's tombstone in the background. I wonder why that one's there. Unless it moves back once we recruit somebody new. Um, but my god, Amy. We lost her, so we've got, we got to send her partner out to hopefully retrieve the body. And uh, defeat the play cart that killed her. Fuck me. I never thought in a million years it would be a play cart that took me out. Not as Amy. But uh, apparently so. Oh, we're going to have to go under new management. We're going to have to pick a new... And Oh my god, look at how many I killed. Amy? Are you in there? Amy? Oh my god, there she is. No, wait, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Please, Amy. <laughs> no, stay back. Please, no. <laughs> oh my god. Amy. That project is finished. What's next? I'm so sorry. Oh. I'll get your things home, hun. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. What have we done? That's our leader. We've just capped her in the head. We're gonna have to finish the job. This can't stay here. This horrible blood fucking... This plague heart. It can't stay here. Fucking light it up. There we go. can't hurt us anymore. Oh my god. Plague heart destroyed. I mean, conveniently, we've also finished building the lounge at roughly the same time of her death. Um, so morale should shoot back up. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Holy shit. Wow. So we're going to have to promote a new leader. Um, and also recruit somebody new. Um, for some reason, we can't switch to them. Why can we switch to them? Is it like their position in the base or something where we may be close? Yeah, I think it was. So, oh, jeez, fucking hell. <laughs> I don't know who to, like, promote. Part of me wants Richardson, because that would make the most sense. She was like, her, Squirrel and Trodson were my original, my original three with Amy. So it makes the most sense to have them. But Juan's a really, really good, a really, really good candidate for it. Um, Trodson is, and Squirrel is. What do you get? You get a trader. Ooh. Do we want to go down the trading route? I mean, we could do. It is something that I've wanted to try out on this save. 
Um, so we could go down the trading route. I think that could work. Um, yeah, let's do it. Squirrel. Uh, can we promote you, please? So, if we promote her, we get a trade depot. Um, farm free. And still two to make luxury items. We could also promote Richardson. So, she gets a field hospital... Um, and a lounge free, also a shooting range too. Trodson, who gets a sniper tower and some luxury barracks too. And a generator free. We also got Juan, who does the same as Trodson. And Carlson, who does the same as Richardson. So our only unique one out of all of these, really, is actually Squirrel. So I am fully fine with doing this. Plus it makes sense roleplay-wise. You know, her girlfriend's just been murked. So, yes, fuck it, squirrel. It's your time, bitch. You're up. This is it. She, look at her. She's ready. Oh, God, Amy's thing's gone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> They've swapped places. So, yeah, I'm assuming as soon as we recruit somebody new, um, that's going to move to the back. Holy shit. God, that, <laughs> that, that was quite rough, actually. I didn't, I didn't really like that. Um, so let's start upgrading the farm. Um, we've also got hydroponics there. Which I think I'm going to get rid of. Because I'd like to have another farm thing. Another farm thing. I don't know, if, oh, I don't know what I'm on about. Who are you nagging? We've just had a loss. We're all depressed as shit. Shall we do some morale boosting activities? Schedule a break. There you go. Jeffrey, your time is up, bitch. Bitch, you better work, bitch. It's your time. Your time is now. Uh, you are going to go get us some help. Because we need food, we need medicine, we need everything to carry on. And we're all depressed. We've lost Amy. You know, we're not doing too good. We're unsure of the leader that we've just chosen. Um... I guess we'll use the devil it. Sure. Yeah, that'll do. It's an alright little pistol. He doesn't need anything too extreme because, um, well, it's not that important really, is he? He's Jeffrey. He's only just arrived. Yes, you are correct. Um, I will not sort that out because it's not my issue apparently. I think we're only losing uh, material, so it's fine. We've got a latrine being built, that should definitely boost morale. We've got the break, schedule a break in progress, that should boost morale. So hopefully we'll go back to stable. Um, we've got a shooting range there, but we don't really need to worry about that. I don't know if that'll stay, we'll see what happens. Um, do we want to keep that? Yeah, that's no, plus. I kind of do want to keep the hydroponics now that I think about it. I kind of want to put another one up. <laughs> We're making a lot of food. But I am also doing the rationing, so that probably explains quite a bit. Right. What have we got? Speak with Mary Bernice about giving her group some fuel. She's very far away. She's not a threat. Um, bullets for friends. Ammunition. We don't even have that. And a survivor in need at the military roadblock, apparently. Let's go help him or her. Him, her, it's a her. It is a, it's a she, as far as I can tell. Let us go see. Um, we should have enough gas to at least get us there. <laughs> we don't need to worry too much about Jeffrey getting back. So we've got a new leader, Squirrel. I never thought that Squirrel would actually be our leader. It's a little bit mad. But I suppose the next order of things is taking out that play car and, like, locking down this sort of... Not this city, but this sort of town. And uh, making friends with the homesteaders could probably could probably be good. Where are we going? Up here. Up around. Oh, dear. God, that was like me losing, like, a Skyrim follower or something. That was... That was a little bit tough, the fact that you have to shoot her down as well. It was a little bit poetic though, <laughs> the way that it was hey, Squirrel that here. had to do it. You're here oh. for me? I mean, of course you are. Yes, Squeaker. 
Oh my god, I love your name. <gasps> and your military, can you join? <gasps> Fuck. Oh no. Squeaker, look out. Squeaker, you buggered. Well, we might have two deaths here in the form of Jeffrey. Look at how many have come in. Oh, look at his belly wobble. Nope. Oh, shitting hell. Jeffrey, run. I don't actually want Jeffrey to die because I want to give him a chance. Ah, oh, Jeffrey. To be fair, I was planning on getting rid of Amy. Um, but it just wasn't meant to be that soon. I didn't expect it to get completely fucked. Holy shit, Squeak, huh? He just owned that fucking juggernaut. Join our group. <laughs> I think she's got a unique model. She looks like Rosita from Walking Dead. Oi. What's that? Join us. Oh, you're part of the homesteaders. That's cool. Yeah. We know the homesteaders. Look, they're there. We might be able to, like, break them up. Nice. Right, we're definitely taking the ammo because we need it. Maybe we can trade this to someone. Why? Yeah, we're surrounded. Why would we trade bullets to somebody? We need them. We got a zombie on the way. Right, come on. In, 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 in. In, in, Get in, please. Good girl. Good girl. God, that got creepy. That got creepy very quickly. Oh! A vehicle! That could have uh, some fuel in. Get off, I'm busy. <laughs> Please? Yes, it's got a little bit more than what we've already got. Get in, Rosita 2.0. We're slowly building our Walking Dead squad, that's what we're doing. That's why Amy had to go. She wasn't she wasn't close to any of the characters. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, poor squirrel. Oh. I need some goddamn help. It's fine. Sorted it. Come on. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh. Shit, all your mates are dead. Oh, she's got a shotgun. Oh, you can join us. We've just lost one of our mates. Uh-oh. We'll lose Jeffrey now. Come on, Jeffrey. Go on! No, you can. You're doing fine. You're doing swimmingly well, Jeffrey. No, Jeffrey! Oh shit, what have I opened? <laughs> I've just started opening menus. Help me! Oh fuck. Barreled him down, he's dead. I should have put this fucking bag in the back of the truck. Come on! There we go. Oh fuck. Squeaker, are you alright? I just wanna kick something. I know how you feel. Come with us! I don't even care what your stats are. Look at you, you're badass. I'll show you the You'll fit right in. Oh my god, this is perfect. We've lost Amy and gained Squeaker. <laughs> We're slowly getting like an all military group, which, uh, which is a little bit mad. I don't know if, um, I don't know if you would consider Jeffrey military, but he certainly Vitality. looks like, you know, similar. He sort of looks like a hunter, so. Right. The militia is expanding. Look at what I've brought. I've brought some lovely things in the form of ammunition. Ammunition. There we go. Get all that in. Welcome, Squeaker, to the fort. The militia. There it is. Not much, but it's home. Yep. To the beginning of a beautiful friendship. It's all right. I like it. Uh, oh, this is our lounge. Okay, it's not a very good lounge, is it? This is a bit dangerous having this just here. Hey. Fucking hell. Juan, I know that you're a little bit annoyed. Um, you weren't one of the originals, okay? I'm sorry. It had to be Squirrel. Um, broadcast. I saw like the research new territories and I was like, no, 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 no. We are not ready for that. Not right now. Good lord. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we really need to like be getting some outposts set up. 
So, we're not going to be struggling on food, sort of, from now. Uh, medicine is clearly an issue, though if we upgrade it, it actually says there we get minus two meds per day. Um, unless that's the default thing. I don't know, I'm just going to start that and we'll see what happens. If, um, if it means that we don't lose any medicine, then obviously we're all right for medicine for like a long ass time. Um, in which case, we just need to get a place for ammo and a place for fuel. Oh shit. Shit, there's the gravestone. Right behind Squeaker. Squeaker, you're right. You're, you're a little bit alright. You've got a bartending skill, which is strange. But you've got knowledge of alcoholic beverage and cooking, which is alright. That's alright, we can deal with that, don't worry. Um, so the odd ones out are now Juan and Squirrel, because we can't get rid of Trodson. <laughs> the plans for the future are to sacrifice Squirrel and Juan very slowly. <laughs> oh dear. It's fine, we don't need you. Um, I'm trying to decide though, if we need the lounge. Where are the toilets? Where have we just built those? They should be upstairs somewhere. Like over here. Ah, there they are. We're getting pretty noisy in here. Fuck. And that's gonna draw trouble. We can hold him, Reggie. We can hold him. These are our lovely toilets. These work, these are fine. Um, I don't know if they'll stay. I kind of like the idea of another hydroponics and just like proper working on building up food and trading it with people. Because I've sort of been testing that out and it sort of does work. It is a thing that you can do, so... Losing her like that? Uh, it really hurts. I know, I know. We're going to get rid of that and I'll tell you why once it's done. Here we go. Because that opens up our uh, leader thing. Ting, ting, ting. There. So we will build a trade depot. I'll do it off camera so that when we come in next time it's just ready. Um, but we'll build one of those because uh, we can summon traders and just work on like building fuck tons of influence. And then when we reach like just way too much influence then we'll move into like a new area. Um, but I'm going to keep on working my way through like missions and locking down this area and clearing it all out and stuff. Um, off camera. We've got the brewers, which are friendly. We've got the grocery raiders, which are just completely unaware that we even exist. Um, they're the people that want ammunition. We've got the survivors, which are just neutral. Um, we better tread lightly around them, apparently. Maybe if I give them some things, they'll help out. Um, and I believe that's it. That's all we've... They're the people that we've got. I'm hoping we get a new enclave moving in here. But we've pretty much got this place now on lockdown, um, or at least we will once we've got the outposts. Uh, the Navy, Army and Navy Outfitters is an outpost that I want. So I am going to have to take that Plague Heart out. So I would take two people this time, and I will choose wisely, and hopefully they won't get buggered. Oh god. In memory of poor, poor old Amy and her... Uh, different textured tombstone. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs>